Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. Keith Whiteside here with HTV 10, uh, Bayou Time Sports. Really glad to bring to you some updates from the community. Always glad to find out what football is looking like this year. We were able to head down to South Lafouche, and we welcome in Coach Brian Young, head football coach, South Lafouche Tarpons. Welcome to the program. Man, it's good to be here, man. I appreciate you all coming out and, uh, you know, coming around the school and seeing what it's all about. Absolutely. Here in the weight room where a lot of the work gets done, tell us a little bit about how the summer program went for you guys and uh, how they got you ready for the season this year. Yeah, you know, the summer for us was real big as far as strength and conditioning goes because we, we missed one last year and then, um, you know, and then no summer and then no spring football. So coming kind of from scratch with, with the season when you're kind of in your in-season workout regimen. So summer was big strength and conditioning wise and our kids really bought in and, you know, 110%. Uh, and, and that's a lot to do with the type of kids that we have in our locker room. You know, um, you don't have to really fight with them too much to make them do what you want to do. You know, they, they want to do it themselves. And then again, a chance to go do some seven on sevens with other schools. Uh, went to St. Charles Catholic and played uh, played some good teams. They do a good job down there. Um, Arch Manning and Newman, uh, Booker T, St. Charles Catholic, um, Lutcher, and John Curtis. So get to see some good competition and see how our kids rise to the challenge. Uh, because it's competitive out there, you know, they compete in everything they do. That's what because that's a lot of winning programs. So uh, very proud of our kids and that and went to Terrebonne with Coach Hill and uh, got to link up with them, Patterson, CCA, uh, South T one time. So it was good, man. Get to see a lot of different competition, a lot of different schemes. And, um, you know, I like where we are right now as a football team. Well, that's some excellent summer preparation, especially with all the things that we missed. Uh, speaking of some of the things we may have missed, can we talk a little bit about maybe some of the holes that maybe have been left from some of the kids that graduated and some places that y'all were focusing on with new kids coming in? Right. You know, uh, graduated a good group of kids last year. You know, just unfortunate the way it all panned out with, with the coronavirus and those kids kind of getting shortchanged on time and games. And, you know, you're already, you're already down, I think, to eight games it was, and then we lose two because of the COVID. So... Uh, man, you know, but a good group, you know, we had to replace our whole defensive backfield, uh, corner, corner, and safeties, um, which you got good kids who rose up to the challenge. And, uh, you know, we had some growth. You know, we played Hornville in the spring game, and they kind of exposed some stuff because they got some good football players. So we got to see what we needed to work on uh, into the summer. So they um, made corrections, and, and they've gotten better. Uh, running back Braxton Petrie was an all-district all kid, uh, great kid. Uh, he's playing at Louisiana College. Uh, replaced him with his brother. You know, so his brother was in the slot for us last year, so we moved into running back. Um, quarterback's back. He kind of, we had a two-quarterback system last year, him and Matt Jalbert. Um, so Matt graduated, you know, so Pat, Pat taking the reins, and he's doing a great job as well. So uh, Kendall Walker was a lineman uh, playing Arkansas Monticello. So we got a senior stepping up in his spot, you know. It's all, it's all kids, uh, which is good, you know, down here. You got kids who, who are ready to go, and, uh, you know, I tell them if you stay ready, you never got to get ready. So, uh, you know, like I said, I said it before, I like where we're at. Still got a lot of work to do, you know, but we got time to get it done. But um, standing here in July, I like, I like where we're at right now. Uh, great idea, great um, way to make sure that we've got the people that we need kind of filling in. It's exciting to know that you guys have had such good work in preparation for what's coming up. Coach, tell us a little bit about what maybe your um, the fans in the stands can expect from the South Lafouche Tarpons when you guys take the field first. Yeah, I would say first and foremost is excitement. You know, our kids, are, uh, they busting at the seams to put the pads on and get to hit somebody in another color. You know, it's picture day right now, so they, they putting their jerseys on and putting their stuff on, they're getting excited. So uh, I would say first and foremost, excitement. And uh, like I tell them, you know, Friday nights are for them, so a lot of fun. You know, they go out there in front, uh, have a lot of fun. We're not going to yell at them or scream at them, just going to coach them. You know, the, uh, Monday through Thursday is for the coaches. You know, we get on them and get them, get them right. But, after that, the coaching should be done. The haze and the boring. We, we let them go play and have fun. So I would say a lot of excitement, a lot of fun, and, uh, you know, competing. You know, uh, there's, there's only one way to do it. You know, we really don't give them a choice. You got to compete, and, um, and, and they do, man. So they do a great job of that. So that would be the three things I would say. Yeah. And so looking forward to this first game, looking forward to the jamboree that's coming up, uh, what are one of the, some of the things you're most excited about, about what South Lafouche brings to the table for your team? Yeah, uh, a lot of athleticism. You know, we got some new kids uh, who came out out the halls uh, that play other sports who um, decided that, you know, they want to get football a try, and, and they've done great. Um, a few baseball kids have came, a few basketball kids. So uh, the, more, the, the, more, the more kids in your program, the better. Um, and then we have kids who were here last year who, uh, who have done everything they need to do from, you know, they might not have got the playing time they wanted last year, but they're ready to go now. So just a mixture of, of, of both. You know, I say a lot of athleticism. 
And then um, I think we're bigger than what we were last year um, on both sides of the ball. So, so that's, that's good too, because if you can, you can do all the pretty stuff you want, throwing the ball and running different coverages. And, but if you don't have them big boys up front to, to get it done in the trenches, you, you won't win many games. So uh, our big boys are doing a great job too. And I think we're a little big and a little more physical. Um, just because just an off season, you know, you got an off season, you get to lift weights and run and just more prepared. So I would say, you know, that, that's, that's, a, that's a bright, bright point as well. Looking forward to the future and, and how things are going to play out this year, hopefully having both a di non-district and a district schedule. Let's kind of talk about some of those teams you're going to go up against and what your expectations are. Yeah, you know, we start off with uh, Ascension Episcopal, and I, I think they have a five-star nose guard, a, a defensive lineman. I think he's the number one guy in the state. So, mm -hmm. you know, you get to start off and see where you're staying off the jump, you know, up front. You know, uh, are you going to handle him or are you going to kind of let him take it to you? Um, the good news is you got a full game because there's going to be some adversity. There's going to be times he wins and there's going to be times we win. So just seeing how we respond to the adversity. And then uh, you got, you know, Thibodeau and Central Lafouche every year who, who are strong and well coached. And, and then you move into uh, E.D. White, another, another perennial power. I know they've had two, a few good years back to back to back where they've beaten some really good teams and made some deep playoff runs. So another, another measuring stick to see where we're at. And, and excuse me, and then we kind of go into uh, Central of Baton Rouge. Uh, another one, you know, 5A school out of Baton Rouge plays in that district with Zachary and Scotlandville and Live Oak and all of those guys, Denham Springs. So they're, they, they're already battle tested. Um, and they got a seasoned coach, Sid Edwards, you know, who's won a lot of state championships. So they'll, they'll be coming down here. And then we move into our district who, who every year I feel like it's a toss up of who can win it, you know. So um, you got to bring your A game every Friday night. And uh, that's kind of where we at with it. You want to play the, if you want to be the best, you got to play the best. And uh, when you get in the playoffs, you want those games under your belt, you know, because. Um, it's going to get down to the nitty gritty, and you got to see, uh, you got to be tested to know if, uh, when it's time to rise up and get it done. Well, Coach, we can't be more excited for you guys and your team. Really looking forward to what y'all can do. Good luck this year. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.